What's up everybody, the Mark Weber here, and what I am showing you right now is the second look at One Kit Wonder Modern Fusion. And, and earlier I was calling it just One Kit Wonder, but that's kind of like an umbrella term, category, a series, um, and Modern Fusion I guess is the first of those. Um, so we, I didn't touch any of this, I, did, I think I actually increased the room a little bit. Um, but pretty much this is all the default. Uh, the cool thing about Get Good Drums One Kit Wonder series, especially and now with Modern Fusion, the first one that's out, um, one, it's only $39, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but two, you don't have any choices. So let me show you uh, what this all sounds like. Maybe I'll have to excuse some thunder if you hear some thunder in the background. So that's what it all sounds like. Um, so I was actually going to write this song on camera. Uh, then I wrote the song and there was an issue with the recording. So not going to do that. Uh, instead, I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of what I did. Um, and then the next video, once again, looking at Modern Fusion, One Kit Wonder from Get Good Drums, um, we're going to go ahead and actually just write a song. Uh, completely from scratch because these are all MIDI grooves. So one of the cool things about Get Good Drums, uh, if you're a songwriter, or maybe you just want to jam a little bit, you go to the groove player and you do have some different options. So I'm just going to show you a few of the different parts um, that I took and then I'll go ahead and show you some of the rest of the song. So, you know, that all sounds great and that's wonderful, but it doesn't necessarily matter how the drums sound on their own because honestly, you're pretty much never going to listen to just the drums on their own. Um, you know, for all the at-home musicians out there, whether you are writing your own music for YouTube, Spotify, Bandcamp, whatever, or if you are, you know, the primary songwriter or just one of the songwriters in your band, you're writing stuff at home and taking it to band practice to show everybody, um, what you really need is something to just be simple and to be inspiring. Uh, One Kit Wonder for sure has simple because you have no options. You can't change things. It's just this is the drum kit you have. Some people are going to love that. Some people might not like it. Um, and then the other thing is, is it inspiring? So that's why I wanted to just use the MIDI grooves it had, see if I could come up with something. Uh, I spent an hour and a half writing this. Um, and let me just kind of show you, I'll play it first and, and we can kind of just look at some of the different things that happened. Um, so let me play some stuff. I might not play the entire thing straight through just yet. We'll definitely do that at the end of the video. Um, but let me just play some sections here and then we can kind of examine some things really quickly.
Um, so, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll play the whole song straight through, just so you have it, uh, and you can enjoy it. You know, like I said, I literally just wrote this. Um, spent an hour and a half. Uh, I started off um, just kind of listening to the, the verse part, and I came up with these guitar parts. And the other thing I want to say, you know, with my channel, I am all about writing music um, and kind of inspiring, hopefully, anyone else to write music, to get out of a writer's block, a rut, or just to think about some things differently. That's pretty much what I care about. I just care about let's write some music. Um, and in some of this, you're going to hear some mistakes. You're going to hear some things that aren't perfect that could be made better. But this was purely just songwriting. I can now take this song and take it to my band or I can re-record some stuff and make it better. We can sleep on it and just think for a little bit, how I might want to change things. I can do whatever I want, but I couldn't do that if I didn't have a song written. So that's what's more important than it being perfect or anything else. So this is the kind of first just little chord progression I came up with. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. I knew that later I was going to want something else to go on with it. Um, that's where these kind of lead guitars come in. Guitar 2, I guess, maybe might be a little more appropriate than lead guitar. And then adding in this bass, which I'm using easy bass um, just for some MIDI bass. Didn't really feel like grabbing my bass guitar, plus I need a new 9 volt in it. Um, so this just has a little bit of something extra, some extra movement going on. Then I do have these keys going on as well. And that key part is just doing the exact same thing um, as the guitars. So it's just backing that up. Um, and earlier on in the song, it's backing up what the, the bass is doing as well. The bass is doing the same thing as the guitar. Um, so just kind of trying to keep everything interesting, trying to keep everything going on. Um, so then adding that, let's see, we got anything else going on there? That's it. So that's where this verse comes in. Let me just play a little bit of that again. So just kind of a fun part, um, and it, it just kind of keeps building. I did have something over here. Um, I'll open this up just for the fun of it. Um, you know, I, I had this going on, which was just a different version of this. I just happen to like this version of it better. But this is what it would have sounded like if I had gone with this instead. I just like the other one better. Um, you yeah, know, plain and simple. So let's go into the chorus. The chorus, um, just pretty simple rhythm part. You know, nothing too crazy there. So we're using Nolly from, from Neural DSP. Uh, we're using Get Good Drums, so we got to use Nolly's amp sim as well. Um, you know, definitely some, some frequencies that I would be looking forward to getting rid of uh, at the mixing stage. There's some high-end harshness right now, um, but that doesn't really matter. It's just, let's just write the song. If you, if you stop yourself from writing music to do some EQing or something like that, you're just going to slow down your pace. Um, then what I did was... I went ahead and, you know what, maybe let's leave the drums in. 
um, and we'll just mute some stuff as we go. So I'm going to leave the bass in. The bass is just following the, um, the what do you call it, the rhythm guitars. This is what that's going to sound like. Let's just add in these um, harmony lead guitars. And that rhythm, I should, it needs to get nudged, but whatever. Just simple harmony. Um, I did add I was thinking of like an organ. I didn't pick an organ. I picked a synth. Um, I would maybe change this to an organ, um, thinking about it later. But I like it for now. So this is just adding a little bit um, of kind of, you know, higher register stuff going on. It also comes in a little bit later, which I like, um, because that adds just a little bit of something afterwards. You know, you got the the very, you know right on the one, you've got the chord change, uh, and then about a beat or two after, you kind of get this swelling of the synth, and I, I like that because it just kind of extends the changes of those chords. Um, so nothing really changes in, in the verse that you haven't already heard. Same thing with the second chorus. That's going to then lead us into this part here, which is this, the bridge. I just really like that, that drum groove. Um, you know, that was, that was from Matt's, um, you know, Matt's song or whatever that they have. Uh, so it's it's cool. It's got a little bit of different movement to it. I hadn't really used very many symbols yet um, because of just what was available to me in the groove packs. Uh, so this is really cool. It's really fun sounding. You know, um, the bass is, for the most part, just doing exactly what the guitars are doing. There's really nothing interesting and extra going on. I probably would want to add um, a lead guitar when I was playing it. I just didn't really do it. Um, you know, I kind of skipped over having a lead guitar part right there. Um, this part of the song could go without it. It depends on what the vocals would be doing here. Uh, but the odds are it would want something. But, you know, this is what we got. And then going into this part here. And, and here's the cool thing um, before I just play. And I'll play through here. I actually just left the, the groove. The only thing I did, and I was not going to try and do this, I was going to try and leave everything as is, but I had to add a little bit of a build-up, so I took out the uh, hi-hats, took out the snares, just made straight kicks, and then I left this little drum fill that was there with the toms. Um, so, I didn't do too much different, um, but let's just listen to those two things going right back into the final chorus. Oh, the other thing too, these are just holding out the chords and then building up. Um, the, the bass notes are just holding. And then I'm bringing in from the verse those bells that I had going on. Uh, just kind of a cool reminder of what was going on. And it also feels like, um, oh, what are those? Was it like MTV or VH1 or so? I don't remember what it is. But there's these Christmas albums that are all a bunch of like rock bands and pop bands, uh, pop artists that will, and like Run DMC is like, you know, that Run DMC Christmas song. That was in, um, oh, well, it was in a Seth Rogen movie the night before. Um, that's kind of, you know, it was on, it was featured on that. I don't know if that's where it first came from. But, 
that's kind of what these bells remind me of is those like cheesy 80s christmas music um i don't know maybe this is a christmas song i'm writing it in august so that's the perfect time to to write christmas music So there you have it. Um, you know, I was trying to answer the question of does the One Kit Wonder Modern Fusion, uh, does it inspire me to write music? Um, and so far, the answer is yes. Um, you know, I was also interested because I was comparing between Modern and Massive and P4 and just kind of seeing how they sounded. And I liked how it sounded compared to the other two. Uh, I thought it sounded just fine. They all sound great. Um, but I, it didn't, you know, it didn't leave me wanting more or anything like that. Um, but the real big question was, how does it sound in context of a song? Obviously, there's some mixing work that would need to be done here. Uh, the snare is certainly too loud um, right now, but it's just, it just is as it is. And then I threw a limiter on it, um, you know, to get some loudness. So overall, I think it sounds great. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, of course. Uh, you can let me know what you think of this song. Wrote it, like I said, in an hour and a half, which pretty good, I would say. You know, it's, um, at the, you know, it's not a ground-breaking, life-changing song by any stretch of the imagination, but just to get something written, I can now take it to the band, or I can work on it more as I go. You know, whatever I want to do. What matters is now I have a song that I can do something with. Uh, and really one kit wonder made it really easy. I didn't have to worry about anything. The next video, I'm going to write a song from scratch. You'll be here with me through that whole process as we completely write a song. We're not going to use any MIDI grooves or anything like that. We are just going to write a song and come up with all the drum parts and stuff like that. Um, so with that being said, like I said, let me know what you think of the song, like button, subscribe button. All that fun stuff so you'll know when those next video comes up. But so far, One Kit Wonder by Get Good Drums, the Modern Fusion drum kit is definitely making me a fan. <laughs>